welcome to Simply Teacups. I'm going to do another grooming video today and um, this one's going to be a modifi modified schnauzer clip but we're doing it on a Yorkshire Terrier and the tools that you'll need actually uh, you can use a couple different blades but I'm using the number 10 on her back. It's going to cut it very very short. You could also use the number 7. It'll leave it just a little bit longer so that's up to you which way you want or how long you want to leave the hair. Um, I've got me a comb and a slicker brush and a pair of scissors and then I've got the little trimmer that always comes in handy for um, around the feet and stuff. Okay so what I'm going to start with is her back and I'm going to groom. I'm going to take her out of this and um, I've already combed her out. She's had a bath then brushed so she's all combed and ready to be groomed now and um, if you have a dog that doesn't like to stand still you can use a little noose on them but We'll see how she does with that. Sometimes she gets really antsy and sometimes she sits still for me. So we'll start with her back. And you want to start right behind the right behind the uh, skull here, up on the top of the neck. It, you want to make like a V-shaped um, cut with your clipper. So I'm going to start like this in a V-shape. And I'm going to turn up the mess with the hair up here on the top of the head. I'm going to hold it ear out of the way and go straight down on both sides and continue throughout her entire back. She's in a full coat and it's really warm out and she gets a lot of stuff tangled up in her hair this time of year playing outside. So we're cutting off all this hair. It should still be pretty because we're going to show you what you can do with this kind of a haircut. How you can uh, cover up the body if you, you don't like the look of the, all this short hair. She has a really, really unique color coat. She's blonde down here, or gold if you want to call it gold, and really dark at the root. So she's going to look completely different with all this hair straight off. You go in a downward motion on the side. And now I'm going to tell you, um, I go all the way around the stomach area, but I stop at the shoulder. I only go down so far on the shoulder. Now where you stop is up to you, but I like to stop right basically about where her collarbone is, which is right here. Because I'm not taking all the hair off the legs. Sometimes you have to pull on their skin so you can get a more even cut. Now I'm to the back leg. And I'm like, here's where her legs start. So I'm only going to go to about right there. even with the front. And the butt area, I'm going to take all this off. There's a lot of hair on her tail. Okay, so I finished shaving both sides. I took it all the way down to the top part of the leg on both sides. I haven't done the tail or the bottom yet, or her belly. So you can see where I have shaved so far. Now I'm going to show you how to do the tail area. If she'll stay still for me. Now we may have to do this. That way she doesn't sit down. All right, now. We're going to shave her tail like you do a schnauzer. That's why it's called a modified schnauzer clip because this is real similar to the way you groom a schnauzer. She's just going to have a little stub. See? 
Now, away from the butt, that way you don't cut into the butt. Okay, just trying to fit in so it doesn't work that mess there. Come back over here. And then, I like to keep the inside of the legs very clean. So what I'll show you is, I lift up on one side, Go in here, do a vulva. And then I go straight down the leg. That's the place that gets a lot of tangles. And I turn around and do the same to the other side. Sometimes it's easier to do this side than you're holding it up. You need to move your dog in whatever position she's comfortable in and will allow you to trim. Now I'm going to do the belly. She doesn't have to be in there anymore. Okay. Come here, little one. See all the hair she has on her underside? I'm going to hold her with one hand. If I can get my clipper on, I'm going to trim her with the other hand. And run it straight up. Now a lot of times you can get most of this hair just by doing it from the side. And it's going straight in. If you can't, lift the dog up, so watch the crease, I'm going to show you where the crease is, in their leg, right here, right inside there, there's a crease, you don't want to run your clipper down because it can cut right into that hair, that little piece of thin skin there, so if you have to go down, hold it away from the skin and move down and I'll show you how to do that. Or towards it. So that works a lot better. Got the bottom, the belly, the potty area. Now all we have left to do is the head and the chest. Now I'm going to probably do, let's see here, hold all of this around the neck out of the way. Yeah, I was going to do the head first, but I'm going to show you how to do this. Going to downward motion. Remember, stop at the top of the leg. She's wanting to sit down on me. Come on, you gotta stand up. Comb some of that hair out of the way if you have a lot of hair. Straight down in between the legs. Now the way the hair grows on the chest area is different so you're going to end up going against and with the grain and have two different lengths of hair. So if you want to play around with that to see what, what length you want you just have to turn your blade and even it just like that.
Okay, so now, you have to decide how long you want the hair on the legs. A lot of people like it to be long on the legs, so maybe you are one of those pet owners that likes your, your dog's hair looking long and pretty and flowing, but you don't want the hassle of leaving it long all over, so you can do just the legs. Leave them long. Use scissors to trim them to whatever length you want. And trim the back real short. Put a sweater or a t-shirt on your dog. Then you never know. Once it's, I'll take a picture and, sh and um, show what that looks like because the, the clothing will cover up all this part of the body. And all you're going to see is her legs. She's going to look like she's grown out a full coat, but really it's all shaved off. So I'm going to do two different things on this one. I'm going to trim the hair on the legs a little bit. And how you do that is get your length. and trim it in a downward motion. And you just work your way around the entire leg like that. Or you can just comb it out and scissor it this way too. Same for the back. Sometimes I like to use my comb so I don't lose all the hair, it falls together. Now on the feet, I'm going to use the finish trimmer and shape it. side of the foot. Let's see some all the excess hair out of, of between the pads. Now I like to hold my thumb right here and run this straight over to my thumb. That way nothing's dragging the floor on our feet. All the way around. There's a little V shape here. You want to get in the groove. What's the little one? She's about ready to be done. And in between the pads of the toes. Might take a few swipes because the hair moves around a lot. Now I also hold the hair down, comb it down, and hold it with my fingers and run it from the toenails forward from the underside. So nothing hangs over the toenails. Okay, so we have one leg done. Now, um, this one here gets very hot, very easy. So I'm actually gonna take more off of her coat. I'm gonna use a number four blade on my trimmer and I'm gonna take it down a lot shorter. But I wanted to show you how you can leave this longer, which would be the modified schnauzer clip. And the only thing we haven't done before I would do that is her face. I have her hair pulled back by a bow because I don't wanna take any of that length off. But what I will do is comb this down and we'll scissor that. And 
And you scissor to whatever, whatever length you like. And just keep combing it because you, you know how hair falls and it doesn't lay right. Comb it forward if you need to. Hold your comb there and use that as a guide. You can taper the sides if you want, or you can just leave her in this short clip just like this. My scissors have a dull spot in them. <laughs> Make sure you hold on good to the hair with your fingers, that way when the dog moves you're not moving with it. And then if you have uh, too long of a top knot, all you have to do is, now this isn't going to be real even because her bow's not in real straight, but all you have to do is just take it up here and trim it off where you like it. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish her haircut. But I think that pretty much shows you what a modified schnauzer clip looks like and we'll show you the finished grooming job here in just a minute. Okay, I've already finished the legs and the feet and I've done one ear. I'm gonna save the other one to show you right now how to trim the tips of the ears on a Yorkie and after that, she'll be completely done with her haircut. Okay, go to the inside of the ear. You wanna imagine a, a triangle shape on the tip of the ear, take your little trimmer. Shave upwards, put your finger behind it so it actually cuts the hair off the tip of the ear. Okay, inside's done. Get the hair out of the way that's long. Do the same thing on the outside. A little triangle shape on the outside with your finger behind the ear so you have something to push up against. Shave the hair off the tip. And that's that. And here you have a modified schnauzer clip and I scissored the legs, trimmed the back with a number 10 blade from the neck back all the way to the butt, to the back side, the other side, and then another front view. And I didn't trim the top knot, um, you know, it's, it's really what you like. And there you have it. Another grooming video from Simply Teacups. And um, if you'd like to see more videos, please go to www.simplyteacups.com. Check out the grooming selection. Thank you.